guys, um, I'm a day late, uh, it's the 1st of April um, and I need to make um, some of these to go in the Dovelis. Don't worry about the music cash, it's good background. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, I'm making some of these, but not quite in the style that we've got here. I'm using some uh, material that I've got from work. And I've got several bits of this scrap material that I've, uh, I've taken from work, which is quite flexible. And I've cut a piece off, um, like that. But that won't quite go along the full length of the Dugelli stand. So I shall be cutting another length from this and then cutting it to size. So basically I'm just making two pieces, um, which will then look like that. But I should be cutting out windows um, and then putting some clear plastic uh, in those windows to make it a little, little bit more realistic. Um, so, uh, so that's how we're going to go. That's, I'm going to get on with that now. I use a standing knife basically to cut that piece off um, and now I should be just measuring up the first piece at the end of the dog ellis needs to start from there so I'll be marking that out now before I cut it out with the Dremel um, and I'll come back with the results later okay so that's uh, that's what I've got now in fact I didn't use the Dremel actually I, uh, I've just done all that with standing knives so far um, and we'll trim it off with um, with the Dremel shortly. Um, what I just want to do now is just to uh, just to check, make sure we're all sitting roughly nicely in there. They're not going to go through until I've uh, obviously made the slots a little bit bigger with the uh, with the Dremel, but. Uh, they will look as if they're going to fit in there nicely, um, starting from that end. So I'm just going to get the Dremel out now and uh, and get on with that. Um, it's coming on quite nicely, as you can see. There will be another piece to fit um, up that end because it only goes that far, uh, and I've got to go up to that end yet. So. Uh, but plenty of material to, uh, to be able to use and I'll do it in exactly the same way as I've done that. Um, with a recess on that end, don't know if you can see that, um, and with a recess on the beginning of the other piece, um, that will fit there nicely. So uh, quite happy with the way the things are coming together there. Um, so I'll go on, get on with that, and, uh, and then I'll come back to you um, when I'm fitting. All right, take care, guys. Okay, so I've done all the trimming, all the cutting, and all the fitting, and that fits in there quite nicely now. As you can see, and it goes all the way to that end. So I now have to do one more piece to go the other end up there to join on much shorter piece than the last one with uh, just a couple of fittings there to do um, I'll get that one in place um, then I'll put the I'll glue the two together um, as you can see they'll recess there um, and there'll be a recess on the other one um, so that it creates a nice join um, so I'll get that done uh, and then I'll start uh, cutting out some uh, some bits for windows um, which should then make it ready for me to uh, spray I'll spray paint that uh, in grey uh, as it's the colour um, that uh, you will see it at Villa Park uh, and then, uh, and then think about putting some clear. I think I've got some. Um, I've got maybe I haven't got enough, and so I'll have to have a look at that. If I've got enough, um, I can get all of that done, um, and uh, and then 
I can then fit the top tier on um, because I won't have any other work to do with that. I might sit a few fans inside, um, although the seats which will go along here um, will actually be full. I will fill them with, uh, with supporters uh, from the executive boxes. So um, I might not need to, uh, to worry about too much detail there. Um, so I'll get on with that and uh, I'll come back to you um, when I've actually completed all of that um, just to show you uh, how I feel on. And that's the um, second piece joined on there now. And that's a lovely join in there, which uh, I'm gonna stick together now. That's uh, that's clipped in actually, clipped in very nicely. So that's a lovely fit. Hello guys, um, just an update on the, the Dog Ellis stand now. Um, I've got uh, the executive box uh, all sorted. Um, that runs all the way along, so that's the uh, the fascia for that done. Um, a long bit of plastic, um, which I had from work, um, and I've cut it. It was actually in two pieces. Uh, there is a join up this end there somewhere, just to there. Don't know if you can see that, but. Uh, like an overlap there with a join and that looks as if it's all coming together nicely so what I will do next is uh, just with some very small shims and a bit of glue just I don't know if you can see that from there just in the back there I shall glue some shims into each section of this just so that it pushes the uh, the fascia right to the front um, and then once that's done uh, in fact what I've got to do first is uh, is to spray it and I'm going to do that um, today I'm going to go and do that in a moment actually so I'm going to spray that uh, grey uh, the same as the rest of the stand and, uh, and then I can uh, start thinking about getting the top tier on. Um, that's not gonna take me long because that's ready to go on. Um, just need to make sure that it's uh, now got that fascia done, that it all fits nicely into place. Um, and it should do. It fitted nicely into place with the, um, with the odd Subutio um, fascia that I had. But uh, preferred to make it all one and all looking the same there so that's uh, all looking nice and tidy um, very happy with that to be honest with you and uh, so the next piece um, will be to uh, to get that uh, sprayed so I'm gonna go and do that now okay so the uh, the fascias um, have been spray painted uh, in grey now um, you might not be able to pick them out very well on that grey background, but um, that's them all done. Or oh, well, it's one piece now, isn't it? So uh, it was sprayed as one piece. Now I've also put uh, the shims in there. Basically, what it was was that you can, might just be able to see them there. There's one there. There's another in there and then another feather along i've put them all the way along you can just pick them out as i move up there um, basically what that does is pushes the fascia right up against uh, the bit of plastic at the front there uh, so uh, those fit in all nicely now um, and what i've also done uh, on the upper tier, let's just lift that out. Bring that out. 
and bits of plastic there, uh, the white bits there that you see, um, I've stuck that all along. Again, that's just pieces uh, of offcuts uh, from work. And I've put those all along there and that creates a ridge um, for the uh, for the actual front of that top tier to rest um, behind um, that executive box fascia. Um, and uh, I'll go and put that in place uh, in a moment. A bit difficult to do whilst I'm holding my phone. <laughs> so, uh, so I'll do that in a moment and come back um, with uh, with a short video just to show that show you that in place. And there we have it. So uh, you can see that the uh, the top tier now sits on there nicely. I haven't um, glued it in place yet. Um, in fact, I might not do that for a while. Um, I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to need to put some lighting in there or whether I need to get to uh, to it to do that. But uh, before I do anything else anyway, I do need to put some windows in there, uh, some, some clear plastic. And also I'm gonna put um, one or two fans inside there. So it looks like one or two um, sections of fans have actually stayed in uh inside the box rather than come outside because they're going to have seats along here uh all the way along there that's didn't record that very well but uh, all the way along there will be uh, seats um which will be the seats that uh, uh that house the people for the executive boxes that decide that they want to come out and sample some of the atmosphere um still quite a bit to do on the stadium um i've got to do the yellow stairs um, the, the edges of the steps um, are going to keep health and safety happy uh, so that's got to be done um, these exits need to be painted um, in the normal claret and blue uh, as they are um, at Villa Park so that has to be done too um, I've got to reduce the width of these staircases uh, as I mentioned in the previous video that's still got to be done um, the roofs are being last left until last I, I'm not doing I know I've started on the Trinity Road um, but uh, the roofs won't be done now until all the uh, the structures are in place and that that will be the last thing I do um, before I then actually work on the details on the outside of the stadium. Um, but I uh, want to get everything else on the inside of the stadium done first um, before I do uh, all the roofing. Um, so there we have it. That's uh, Doug Ellis as we, uh, as we stand tonight. I won't be doing any more tonight. Um, it's the time, it's about eight o'clock at night now. So uh, I'm gonna go indoors. But uh, it's looking pretty much like the Doug Ellis stand now. Um, although I will be calling it when it's erected, I'll be calling it the uh, the Ron Saunders stand. So, uh, in honour of uh, the greatest manager that uh, my club Aston Villa have ever had. So, I hope you like it, guys. I hope you're learning um, and uh, inspiring you to build your own stadiums. And uh, I'll sign off for the night.